Thank you for tuning in. It's been several hours, a day or so now, since the trade with uh, the Indianapolis coach for Carson Wentz services and his $28 million contract for this year if Washington decides to, well, they accepted that. Um, that's a lot of money to eat the cap. I mean, they ate the cap up as a result. You know, Landon Collins was released. He didn't want to accept another another pay cut. He's already accepted one before the season. So uh, he decided to move on, and they decided to part ways. And a lot of people, you know, wasn't really on the Landon Collins train. Uh, was it all hype? I, I don't think so. I think he's a good player. I just thought his money uh, was ultimately going to be his demise. The more he got, the more the cap, it was it was just too crucial. And then the production just wasn't up to par. He had injuries. And I think that that relationship kind of ran its course, especially with the uh, new regime being here. So we'll see. He had some flashes um, before he, it, you know, he tore his Achilles against Dallas in 2020. Um, last year, he was asked to move and play closer to the line as a linebacker. He did, he did well. Again, he was injured, ankle, foot injury. Um, you know, and the, and the team kind of really needed him. But he got injured and he had COVID that kind of ravaged the, the team somewhat. Or a lot, actually, as they, you know, they came off that four-game winning streak. So, I think it was kind of a wash as far as Landon Collins' era here. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's a heavy burden to try to live up uh, to Sean Taylor. And we've had many people, safeties that played that position, all kind of, uh, disciples of Sean Taylor, so to speak, uh, uh, or wannabe disciples. So, you know, just just be the best you can be. That's that's all I can ask. I, you know, Sean Taylor is, is 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 a legend, but you guys to come in and want to play that safety position here, you can't. You're not going to live up to that ghost. So, just be the best you can be. Uh, go out there and grind. And let your production speak for itself. So people are going to compare you. Don't don't buy into the hype. If you if you meet a certain style of safety, um, so just just be you. Um, so with that said, looking back on the trade, I think universally, um, people are saying that um, you know it, it's underwhelming to say the least for Washington. Uh, but look, you know, no one was coming here. Aaron Rodgers didn't want to come here. And Russell uh, Wilson, you know, he took, he, he decided to go with Denver. Uh, so there's reports or, or rumors that Jimmy you know, Garoppolo wasn't, uh, this wasn't his choice to go here as well. So you you can either delve in the free agent market or you can just try to get a quarterback uh, if you think you're that close. They won seven games, two years in a row with Ron. And if you're that close, you upgrade a quarterback and you try to roll the dice. So I think this is what they're doing. So um, with that strategy, I'm not mad at them. Uh, was Carson Wentz on my radar? I knew he was out there. Uh, would he have been my choice for those picks? Um, I don't know because the picks are assets, uh, but we haven't really hit on any mid-round picks. Uh, we had some, but it's a mixed bag. Obviously, Terry uh, McLaurin's being the best in a third third round pick. But look, you know, Antonio. I mean. Gandy Golden. Uh, we missed. He's a fourth round pick. Fourth round picks should be on this team. And he's not on the team. So 
you know, Kelvin Harmon. I mean, draft picks, we just got to get better in drafting. So that's one thing. So um, going forward, can Carson Wentz revive his career? Remains to be seen. Remains to be seen. Uh, I think he can, given, you know, the environment, if everything is right. I don't know if he's that type of guy that everything has to be right. You know, you know, you get those kind of athletes. They're everything. Their biorhythms have to be right. I mean, look at uh, the pitcher. You know, Steven Strasburg, freakish talent, but the the biorhythms. Everything has to be kind of right. It has to be the stars have to line up uh, because they just fickle like that. Maybe Carson is in that bag. So I don't know. Uh, let's hope that's not the case because. You know, baseball, you got 162 games and you can get in a groove of doing that and then get your rhythm. Um, but with Carson, it's just been. It's not physical, it's just mental. But again, he's had some injuries. He's, you know, he had a foot issue coming into camp. He had ankle and foot issues, both ankles. Uh, so he's always been nicked up a little bit. He just got to stay healthy. And then when healthy, he just had to, you know, he just had to produce. He just has to, he has to just come through in those big moments when the game is on the line. And for many people, uh, he's failed to do that based on his record. So maybe getting back in the NFC East uh, gives him a sense of, of, you know, comfort, I would guess. I don't know. In a weird way, he's familiar with the, the cities, the, the the culture, so to speak. So that might help him. And then he has a revenge factor. You know, you, you can go against the team that drafted you and pretty much gave up on you. And you can prove to them, you know, at 30 years old, there's still a long, long uh, pool of football in me. So, uh, and I'm going to give you the business every time I, you know, every, every time I play you. So maybe that's where we at. Maybe we'll get that. But I mean, you shouldn't have to motivate a guy. I think leadership has been his primary issue. Um, nobody, I mean, I've, you know, I've heard of a variety of different, uh, different points on far as leadership, his character, this, that, and the other. Uh, he's not really a locker room guy or there's, you know, nothing, you know, egregious I've heard, but it's just weird how it's more like maybe a just a, a, a vibe. Maybe, you know, his vibe, I don't think he's, they're saying he brings bad energy or maybe some, some people are saying the energy is bad around him. I don't know. Or maybe he's just, you know, this, this, he's paranoid. Maybe he, <laughs> It's a multitude of things that could could be. I don't know. So I'm going to just judge him on his play on the field. Hopefully he can stay healthy, play 16 games. Can we get three games, three more wins out of him? I think we can to get us to 10. Third place schedule, you still have to play the schedule. There's no getting around that. Uh, what you think is this might be the Cincinnati Bengals. So there you go. It's the NFL key is staying healthy and being consistent and you know getting Curtis Samuel back I can you depend on him I don't know growing injury took you out all year uh, I wouldn't depend on him but he is a piece and he he's costing you know he's cost he costs a lot of money so Terry McLaurin you know what he is he needs a, he needs someone you know that's that uh, that number two that compliment him. I like the kid from uh, USC, Drake London, 6'5", six, 6'4", six, something like that. Uh, tough receiver, very tough, has a mean streak. Uh, got swag, so we'll see what happens when, you know, when, when the time, if they stay pat at number 11. They need a middle linebacker. I don't know if they have the money to go after uh, their linebacker, middle linebacker, Wagner. I don't know if they have the money. You know, with, with them absorbing Carson Wentz whole contract, 
for this year on a prove it deal, I guess, for twenty eight million. That's an expensive prove it deal. Uh we'll see how the money is. I mean you got one casual uh cap casually in Landon, but that was probably more production cap uh too. So you can go both ways with that that argument, cap or production, meaning the money the production is not adding up to what we're paying you. So it's a wash. But hopefully Carson Wentz um, can seize this opportunity. It's a tough city, especially when you're a quarterback. You can't hide. Uh, you're not going to have patience with you. We, we expect you to be Commander Carson and lead this team to the playoffs and better yet, the Super Bowl championship at this moment. We've got to win. And you got to bring in the new era. You're the guy. They pick you. So uh, it is what it is. Chin up. Let's play ball. That's it for me. Take care. We'll see you soon.